Good evening, Warden. How do your prisoners fare? Commander, all is well. If you'd like, I could show I'm you... I'm not here to inspect your prison, Warden. I'm here to speak about one prisoner. Ah, oh, your apostle. Alvane. He's an apostle no more. He was a tool, but he lost his edge. He's no longer of any use to us. No. It's time we put all of this behind us. Would you care to translate, Commander? I'm afraid my ability to read between the lines is somewhat lacking. We want Kian Alvane's execution to be... hastened. I see. I, I thought your six would need to judge and condemn Alvane before... When did you become an expert on Azadi law, Warden? Well, I'm not, sir, but... We have laws and regulations of our own, Commander. I was told that Kian Alvani would be sent to Sadir to and stand... I am telling you to carry out his sentence. Tonight! What? Uh, uh, impossible. Uh, I, I need to call in the executioner... And... How soon? Well, by first light, at the earliest, but still... First light, then. But what about the paperwork? I mean, the proper documents, signed and stamped. This goes one of two ways, Warden. Either you do what you're told, and execute Kian Alvani by first light. Or you find yourself hanging right next to him when the sun kisses the top of Friar's Keep tomorrow morning. How it plays out is entirely up to you. You have your orders, Warden. only one memory of my mother. She held me close one night and sang an old song from her country. I don't remember the melody, but I remember the words. Sleep, child, sleep. Sleep in your mother's heart. Let the wind blow and the rain fall. Hear the executioner's call. Watch the traitor's head roll as the shadow takes his soul. Sleep, child, sleep. We shall never part. For we will soon be free. Together forever in the cold, cold sea. Ah, Alvani, you are here. Good. I hear you uh, turned down your last meal. Hmm, pity. I personally approve the menu. There were uh, <clears throat> sausages. He wants me to plead. I shall not. Why would the warden come to visit me now? He... Hmm, quite. You were always a man of few words, Alvani. <laughs> A rational pragmatist to the end? I approve. As you know, your execution will take place at dawn. I have to admit that I'm, I'm curious why after so long there's such a sudden rush to see you dead. I'm very curious. But uh, <clears throat> that's not why I'm here, no. As you also know, you have the choice between hanging and beheading. As far as I can tell, you have yet to... Um, voice a preference. If you forfeit this choice, it'll be left to me to decide the uh, <coughs> instrument of death. I simply want to ensure we've dotted every I and crossed every T. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. A warrior deserves to die by the blade. Even though I'm just a prisoner now. Death is death, and I'm ready to embrace my own. I have nothing more to say to this man. Quite. But then I shall make that choice. <clears throat> Do you have no family, Alvani? My family is very important to me. 
almost as important as my duty to this city and this office. In the event of my own death, it would pain me to know that they would be left with no answers, no body to bury, no closure. I, I know you're a man of faith, a man of principle. I also understand that things happen to hmm, make you question your calling. What I do not understand is why you've um, <clears throat> simply decided to give up, to, um, to stop fighting. I have nothing more to say to him. To have everything you believe in fall to pieces. To be asked to continue a war that you have no faith in. By commanders that you can no longer trust. You would not understand. Try me, Alvani. You may come to see that we're more alike than you thought. I have no family. No country. So leave me be. And let me prepare for death in peace. Very well. Everything has been uh, properly filed. I have no reason to question the order of execution. Even threatened me with dismissal, and worse, should I stand in the way of their orders. They don't know me very well. Threats mean nothing. Proper paperwork, on the other hand. Well, I will simply have to <clears throat> accept that my questions will remain forever unanswered. I shall see you at first light, Alvani. The noose will be ready for you. Get up, Kihan. There isn't much time. About bloody time. Come on. Let's go. What's going no on? No time for answers. Let's get a move on. What's going on down there? That boy is a made-to-order riot. We're getting you out of here. Who are you? Do I know you? I bloody well hope so. You were this close to running me through with your sword. What? The Swamp City? Precisely. Where I made a daring, swashbuckling, last-minute escape. And you were arrested by your own commander. Quite a day, eh? If you're with the Resistance, why are you helping me escape? So that you can repay your debt and help free our city. In the meantime, we need a bloody key to get through this bloody gate. We will need a key to open this gate. Hey! He's hey. still breathing. Help me! I've seen him around the prison. I don't think he's been here that long. And I don't think he's long for this world. He might know how to get out of here. I don't think he'll make it, but if he can help us, his death won't be in vain. Do you know how to get through that gate? The guard. He... <coughs> he, he, he has a key in his pocket. There's nothing more I can do for him. There must be something we can do for him. Anything. I can't save his life, but perhaps he has some last wish that I can fulfill. Is there anything I can do for you? Anything at all? My... <coughs> My family. Tell them. Tell them what happened to me. Tell them I love them very much. And that... <coughs> My children. Tell them they make me proud. I can give no promises. I have to promise. I have to fulfill this, I promise. They live in the bones. My name is Staunt. Arn Staunt. Thank you. Please. <coughs> Please finish me before the cards find me. It appears they to be a gate key. It probably they unlocks me. this first gate. <coughs> they will make me suffer. Kill me. Kill me. Please. <coughs> Please kill me. If I... Keep pushing him up! We'll burn him alive! May the goddess ease your journey into the next life. It 
had to be done, Gian. You made the right choice. You have the key? Excellent. Now unlock the gate. They have different keys for every floor, so you might as well leave that one in the lock. Follow me, boy. We're going up, not down. Upwards. Ever upwards. Down there, you'll only find fiery death. The way out of here is up, up, up. What did you mean, repay a debt? You damn near wiped us out, boy. Your last minute reversal didn't help save anyone, aside from your own soul, mayhap. And now is your chance at repentance. I don't want repentance. I'm ready to die for my crimes. Why don't you just leave me here? You may be ready to die, Kian, but the Resistance certainly isn't. And we need you. Now, find a way to open this bloody door. Something long and thin to pick the lock might do the trick. The riot is growing, moving closer. We need to keep moving up, find a way out before the keep becomes smoking rubble. desire to let all these prisoners loose. thin enough to fit in a lock. I should be able to open the gate with this. Those years on the streets of Sadia paying off. The riot won't last forever. Something's going to give. Either the watch kills every last man, or the prisoners tear this place to pieces. Why, if it isn't our old friend Mr. Murren. I'll say back him. I should have known you wouldn't have let yourself get caught so easily. You're damn right. Now let us through. I'm afraid that's uh, quite impossible, Balsay. Your journey ends here, I'm afraid. There's no pick in this one. He's plugged it from his side. By the Mojar's unclean genitals, Warden! Open up right this bloody minute! Words, 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 Mr. Backy. You know very well I do not respond to threats. When I get my hands on you, Warden, you will wish your grandmother had never spread her legs to your grandfather. I'm afraid this is uh, <clears throat> as far as you will get. People like him only respond to violence and threats. He's scum, and I should treat him as such. I could attempt to reason with him, see if he responds to that. Your prisoners are revolting, Warden. Sooner or later, they will reach this floor. Let me through, and I shall be lenient and merciful. I see. And what, pray tell, is my guarantee that you'll follow through on your... <clears throat> promise? I may not be able to stay my anger. He's responsible for many in... What choice does he have? I was the Apostle. Doesn't the Warden claim to be a practical man? If that's the case... 
he would listen to a practical argument. What choice does he have? I was the apostle. I may not be able to stay my anger. Doesn't the warden claim? My leniency is your only hope at this point. Hmm, perhaps. But as you may imagine, I didn't rise to my position by taking people at their word. Particularly in a prison. Honesty is in <clears throat> short supply in here. We're running out of time. And this filthy heathen is the all men of his station can be bought. If he fails to respond to threats to his own life, maybe he'll listen if I... He may treasure his office above his blood. But maybe he will listen to reason if I appeal to his sense of family. If not for yourself, then do this for your family. Hmm, my family is important to me. I would not want my boys to grow up without a father. Their mother <clears throat> lacks the moral fortitude needed to instill duty and backbone in them. So give her. She's a good woman, but maybe a woman. Very well, you make a fair point. I will trust you despite my better instincts. Step back, Alvani. Praise your gods, I don't have time for you now, Murren. But your day will come. You gave me your word, Alvani. Your word? You said I would not be harmed. You said you would let me live. Does that not count for anything? You will receive your just punishment soon enough. Vani, but at least my punishment... <coughs> at least my punishment will be at the hands of those who respect laws and regulations. And not a... This is as far as the stairwell will take us. Like now we need to find a way to the roof. I didn't say I wanted to leave this place. What part of to be executed in the morning did you not get? And what part of the resistance needs you did you fail to comprehend? Why would your people trust me? I am their enemy. <laughs> you were the enemy. I trust your allegiance to your people has diminished somewhat in the past year. How do you know I won't just turn on you, soon as we're out of here? Oh, I know, and others do too. Our faith is rarely misplaced. This passage leads up to the roof, but the gate's twice locked. There's no getting through. We need to find another way up. I got There's you There's no way far, through Kian. here. Now you need to put that Azadi brain of yours to work, and quick. Good job. Let's move. Shadow be damned. The guards are getting closer. That chain goes up to the mechanism that raises and lowers the cage. It's... Hello? They're not far behind us. We don't have much time. It's mounted securely to the wall. I'm curious to see where this is going. Where's the key? Someone get the goddamn keys! There's no way through here. From a broken arrow and an oiled face towel, I've fashioned a rudimentary illuminant. In other words, I have a torch. The oil is burning off. Oh, clever boy. I knew you wouldn't disappoint me. Still warm, but it's cooling quickly. I should be able to climb the chain now. You first. If that chain's still hot, I want some warning.
provided the nukes for you. A traitor's death. What are we doing here? Where's our cloud ship? We need to buy ourselves some time. Quick, block that gate. Use the lever to lower the bar. Quickly now. Now arm yourself. Come over here now! How will we escape? I thought you'd have a ship waiting. A ship? <laughs> no, boy. Your way out of here is not on a cloud ship, but through a portal created by the very magic your people are trying to stamp out. My way. Only one of us can pass through that portal before it closes. And it requires a sacrifice. It's dark magic. It requires blood and pain. It requires a life. What? No. No! I cannot accept your sacrifice. Either both of us leave or neither. Don't be a mojo, damned fool, boy. I haven't made my peace with the gods. And you say the same. Besides, I may be a decent fighter, but you... Without you, the resistance will falter, and the Azadi will be victorious. Now run me through with that sword so that you can get out of here and start paying your debts. How many more deaths before this night is over? No. There's been enough bloodshed. His eyes speak the truth. He has embraced death in a way I never could. Hum. I... cannot. I'm not worthy of such a sacrifice. Listen to me, boy. If you don't do this, then it's all for naught. The whole bloody thing. There's been too much death. Too much! Oh, for the love of the four heavens. <laughs> oh, that bloody stings. She held me to her heart until I fell asleep.